Well, hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Pali. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make a fried walleye sandwich. Cue the music. All right, well, welcome back to It's Only Food. If this is your first visit, please do me a favor. Go down, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload new content. Also, be sure to go down, hit that description box below for the recipe for this video, and also a ton of groovy links. All right, well, you click down this video to have me show you how to make a fried walleye sandwich. So let's drop down here and see what our ingredients are for this. We have got one piece of walleye that I've skinned we have got our flour, we have got our milk, we have got our panko breadcrumbs, and then of course our toppings are gonna to be a little bit of shredded lettuce with some tomatoes, tartar sauce, and a couple of buns. Let's start doing our prep. All right, as you can clearly see, we have got our pans all ready to go with our flour. I've seasoned this with a little salt and pepper. We got our milk, and we got our pan panko breadcrumbs right here. I'm sorry, I feel bad just doing one piece of fish, but we have got one piece of walleye here that's gonna make two sandwiches. So I'm just doing one. Feels kind of weird since I cooked for about 90 people. But here we go. Get that breading or get that flour on there really well. You can use milk or eggs. I just prefer to use some milk on this. And you basically just want to cover it up to get it to stick. Or for the panko breadcrumbs to stick. And then you just cover it all up. And just kind of press down in there if you want to. There we go. Our fish is ready to go. Let's head out to the grill. day to do a video outside very sunny beautiful pictures of that walleye sandwich so there is our sandwich here I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bite of it and see what it tastes like that fish has got a nice crispy coating to it still a little hot um, you bite through that bun with that crispiness on there too from grilling it the surface um, on it and putting that tartar sauce, that crunchiness of the lettuce, the tomato in there, it all comes together. The tartar sauce is really good. In fact, there's a card right here for it for the recipe. Go ahead and make it for this sandwich. But this is really good, easy to make, quick and easy. You don't have to do it on a grill if you don't have a blackstone or a grill outside. You can certainly do it in a pan just like that. So make sure your pan gets a little hot, add the oil, put the fish right in there, flip it over, and make sure it's done before you put it on the sandwich. So I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment down below, and then share this video with everybody you know. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.